Hello, welcome to this month's Steam Shop Update, where we're going to talk about our progress to date on the front engine, piping, lubrication, brakes, spring rigging, and all the wonderful craftsmanship that you're going to see in this video. We thank you very much for your support. Thank you for watching. We're looking at the front engine bed casting on the big boy, where we can see the very tight, narrow spaces designed to permit all of the necessary live steam, main reservoir pressure, brake pipe, and air signal piping, along with hundreds and hundreds of feet of copper tubing that carries all the lubricating oil for the locomotive. We also see the very large Detroit-style high-pressure terminal check valves, along with the Edna and Detroit-style splitters and dividers that are used to take the oil feed from the Nathan DV7 force feed lubricator and split it to various different points on the locomotive. Some of the splitters are located in difficult points to access, so now is the time to get those fit up and design everything in such a way that will give us many, many years of good service. Here we see examples of the new fittings that we've made to replace all of the hundreds and hundreds of fittings, different styles of fittings that connect the copper line from the high pressure side of the DV7 lubricator down to the splitter and other connection points on the lubrication system. We've made these parts based on the exact UP drawings, so they are exact replicas of the components that came off the locomotive. As we begin to progress all of the different phases of the project, we've been able to complete other parts, such as this new welded exhaust nozzle, along with the precision cast exhaust nozzles that fit down within that weldment. This is part of the new oil conversion. There will be another update that details the specifics of that as we near that point of the project. Stay tuned for the next update. We appreciate all your support and thank you very much for watching.